what's up guys, Benny here and welcome to this Call of Duty Warzone video where I'm going to teach you 11 ways on how to improve your aim and win more gunfights in the exact same way as a pro player does because there are so many techniques and things you can take advantage of from in-game settings such as sensitivity and in-game mechanics like the Peeker's Advantage. But you'll leave this video a lot better equipped to get more kills and wins in Warzone but first, I'd like to say a massive thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Intel and Lenovo Legion, because I've been looking for a gaming laptop to take with me on the go for a while now, and the Lenovo Legion 7i is exactly what I've been looking for. Now, you know me, performance is very important to me, and I always want to make sure that I've got every advantage possible to help me win games of Warzone, which is exactly why I do these kind of tip videos to help you have the same advantage and the fact that this laptop gives me desktop quality performance on the go is insane. Firstly the screen is 144 hertz and 1080p which is going to allow you to take full advantage of its Nvidia RTX 2080 Super Max Q graphics and Intel Core i7 processor and play games like Warzone at high frame rates and ensure that you can see your opponents and react in the fastest possible time. The 15.6 inch display also has 500 nits brightness along with anti-glare so you're going to be able to spot those enemies in Superstore without any problems at all. And if you're like me and make content, it's also 100% Adobe sRGB calibrated so it's got perfect color accuracy which makes things look great. The True Strike keyboard also feels amazing with sub millisecond response time and 1.3 millimeter key travel. Then on top of that, you've also got real time ray tracing and AI enhanced graphics thanks to NVIDIA GeForce. And then, thanks to the Lenovo Legion 7i's Cold Front 2.0, 2mm vapor chamber and 6-point thermal sensor array, the laptop stays cool even with all that power. It'll also charge from 0 to 50% in under 30 minutes thanks to Rapid Charge Pro. I also think the laptop looks amazing and isn't super bulky like lots of other gaming laptops out there, so I'd like to say once again a massive thank you to Intel and Lenovo Legion for sponsoring this video and if you want to find out more about the Lenovo Legion 7i there is a link down in the description below and you can use code Benny10 at checkout for a discount. Okay, first things first, let's talk sensitivity, as it's a question I constantly get asked, what sensitivity should I have? If you're a controller player, this is one of the most difficult choices that you have to make, and top players have made it work with any sensitivity, from 2020, like Mutex, to a 6.6 by Dukies. So there is an argument that you can choose any sensitivity and be successful and have great aim. However, as a rule of thumb, lower sensitivities are going to be much easier to control and give you a much wider margin for error so you can make those micro adjustments which are key to coming out on top in those medium to long range gunfights. While having a high sensitivity will allow you to react faster and potentially snap onto opponents a little bit quicker. So for you, I would recommend starting with a lower sensitivity like a 5.5, which I feel is the perfect starting point and is what I actually use and I constantly get accused of using an aimbot. So I must be doing something right. Now, what you'll also want to do is then adjust your ADS modifier down to a 0.85. This means that you get even greater control when aiming down sights as it'll bring your sensitivity down to around a four whilst ADSing, which then allows you to flick up whilst controlling the recoil to land those all important headshots. The next thing to take into account is the actual controller you use because different controllers have different thumbstick tensions, which actually has a big impact on your recoil control. If you have low thumbstick tension, that thumbstick is going to move a lot easier, making it harder to make those small changes as there's no resistance. It may also mean that you might need to increase your dead zone as the thumbstick is going to be more likely to drift. Whilst the high thumbstick tension is going to give you the most resistance, but allow you to make more controlled movements. From my experience, an Xbox controller has a lower thumbstick tension by default. A PlayStation controller is around the middle, but the controller I use an Xbox Elite Series 2 allows you to adjust those thumbstick tensions which I make sure I have on the highest possible setting which gives me a great level of control and one of the reasons I feel that I can be 
so accurate. It's an important thing to think about as you'll need to adjust the pressure that you apply on your thumbstick based on the tension. It's one of the reasons people really struggle changing controllers. Okay, now you've got your controller set up, let's move on to things you need to do in game to get better aim in Warzone. First of all is recoil management. What makes Warzone difficult at times is there being over 90 weapons, all with their own individual recoil patterns. Some weapons have more recoil and some weapons have less. Some will kick up vertically and to the right, others to the left and so on. So whenever you make a class setup, make sure you understand the gun's recoil pattern so you know what you need to do in order to counter the recoil and make sure your gun moves as as little as possible, which is going to give you the fastest times to kill available. It's why weapons like the Kilo and the Growl were so popular in the earlier seasons, because the recoil was so easy to control as it was just straight up. So whichever weapon you decide to use, take a look at the recoil pattern and choose the attachments best suited to make it as easy to control as possible. And if you need to check the recoil of your weapon, just go up to a wall and hold down the trigger. For example, if you're using the CR56 AMAX, you might struggle with the recoil if you're using the Commando foregrip, so you might want to use the Ranger grip instead. But whatever you decide to use, make sure you stick with it so you learn how to handle the recoil and you'll be surprised at how quickly your aim improves in Warzone. Learning your weapon's recoil is only the first thing you need to take into account to get better aim in Warzone. The next thing is the bullet velocity of your class setup. Weapons with a higher bullet velocity act more like hit scan, so you don't need to lead your shots as much at a distance. But if you're using a lower bullet velocity weapon, you'll need to aim further in front of a moving target in order to hit them. Now, I'm telling you all of this because it's important to understand to get the same aim as a pro player, because every single one of these things we take into account when playing Warzone. Now, something you can do to help you land shots at a distance is aim in front of your target whilst tracking their movement at the same speed, but then slow down as you start firing until you get a hit marker. Then as soon as you get that hit marker, maintain that speed and you'll be able to hit your opponent consistently. It's a good thing to do when you're not 100% sure of where you need to fire to hit your shots and take them down. But you'll be able to quickly figure that out with this technique, especially with aim assist helping you out at the same time. Which brings me on to my next tip to help you improve your aim in Call of Duty Warzone, and it's how you can take full advantage of the game's inbuilt aim assist. First of all, I make sure my aim response curve is dynamic, which is always a good setting to have, and then aim assist is set to standard. Now, aim assist doesn't just make it easier for you to land your shots whilst using a controller, it's a mechanic you can abuse and allow yourself to snap onto an opponent much easier than without it, as you'll get something I like to call sticky aim. Whenever you're playing Warzone, try and aim at opponents with your hip fire crosshairs first, then ADS. This will give you an almost sticking effect where you'll be able to snap onto an opponent's center mass a lot easier. Then all you need to do is flick upwards with your thumbstick to snap up towards the head, which will also happen naturally with your gun's recoil because every gun in Warzone will naturally kick vertically. You then just have to control that horizontal recoil to make sure you land those headshots. But aim assist is just super powerful and every pro player takes full advantage of it. And it's also why you'll sometimes hear them freak out when they lose aim assist in hotspot parts of the map like Superstore, when for some reason, when there's too many players or there's clipping with the environment, you just won't get your aim assist. Learn to take advantage of it and snap onto your opponents quickly, and also the change it has on your sensitivity, as you just want to make sure that you hold your aim in that aim assist sweet spot, which is why you also want to make sure that you have scale aim assist with field of view enabled to make sure that sweet spot is as large as possible on your screen. Which brings me on to my next tip, which is all about burst firing. Until I know I've snapped into that overpowered aim assist sweet spot, a lot of the time at medium to long range when I'm using an automatic weapon, 
are burst fire. This allows me to have a consistent recoil pattern where I know I'm going to land all my shots. This is also super useful when an opponent is behind some sort of cover because staying on full auto, the horizontal recoil is going to make it almost impossible to hit your shots consistently. So when you can, just fire five to six shots a burst, which is for most weapons when the horizontal recoil begins to kick in and you're going to be a lot more accurate. My next tip to help you get better aim in Warzone is all about your crosshairs. Whenever you watch any pro player in Warzone, the way you move around the map is key to having good aim for a couple of reasons. Firstly, if you're centering your crosshairs at high risk locations, such as windows, corners of buildings, doorways, etc., you're going to be ready to start firing in the quickest time possible. You're effectively always aiming at something even when no one is there. It's a hard mindset to get into, but it will help you get a much smoother aim curve and make you a much more situationally aware player as you're always trying to identify where players could come from and aiming at them so you're ready if an enemy squad does appear. So just get into the habit of centering your crosshairs to high traffic areas and you're gonna get a lot more kills. Now, something else that will help you not only have better aim, but also win more gunfights is using the Pika's advantage. Now, something a lot of people don't realize, but for a couple of reasons, including ping, latency, etc., being the first to peek around a corner gives you a small advantage, especially when going from the right hand side. If you're stuck behind a tree and have the choice to jump out from the left or the right, always go right because that's the side of your screen that your gun is and it gets you that peak as advantage as you'll be able to start getting your shots off first instead of having to have your gun go all the way across the tree with your body on view. Another small thing to change in your settings to improve your aim in Warzone is please make sure you turn your controller vibration off. There is no competitive benefit for vibration and it's only going to throw off your aim, especially in those tense final moments of a match. So do yourself a favor and turn it off. Another huge tip to help you get better aim in Warzone is you need to get into the habit of making smooth movements. There should be no rash, quick movements made by you at all. Everything should be slowly controlled. Anything too rash and jerky will completely throw your aim off and even aim assist won't help you. Now, something that will also help with this, especially at medium to long range, and it does sound completely ridiculous, but it's to hold your breath while firing. And I don't mean in game, but real life. It just makes your entire body a lot more steady and controlled. And when going for those headshots at 100 plus meters away, you're gonna notice the difference. Now, my final tip to help you get better aim in Warzone is something that I've been doing for years and it's something that I used to do before every single tournament I've ever played in and it's a warm-up drill that's gonna make sure that your aim is on point. First of all, you can choose whichever map you want. The most important thing that you're going to have to do though is in the game setup. So you can choose whatever map you want. You're going to go for free for all, game rules. I just put it on unlimited, advanced. You don't need to worry about that. Now the player side is really helpful. First of all, I make sure that the health regeneration is max. So when you take shots off, you're going to get your health back as quickly as possible. And you've got two choices. First of all, if you want to do war zone level, you can increase the health to 250. So it's the same time to kill if someone has three plates. I personally just do it at one. 30 just for warm-ups um it just kind of make sure that my shot's on point and i don't have like too many players overwhelming me then you go to team and i make sure that radar always on is constant remember it's not about map awareness it's just about making sure that you're snapping onto your targets as quickly as possible and then bot setup i just put seven bots on you can put as many as you like and change up the difficulty if you want to as well but then i boot up into a game and just warm up my shots now, when you're doing this, it's a great opportunity to practice everything we've talked about in this video, centering your crosshairs, drop shotting, jump shotting, mixing everything up, try trying out different sensitivities. It's something that is really going to help you. And it's not about kind of getting in the situations of like map awareness you need in Warzone, but it's just going to help make sure that you know that you're going to be able to land all your shots when you get into a gunfight, which is going to give you the edge. But trust me, try out this drill. You're going to really appreciate it. And I'll just 
like to say once again, a big thank you to Lenovo Legion and Intel for sponsoring this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and if it helped you out, subscribe if you're new and smash the thumbs up button and I'll see you next time. Bye.